are we sure we want to do this one? Fine, we'll do it, but we're turning off the comments. You did this to yourself, Internet. Trigger warning. The following video contains scenes from the 2016 film Ghostbusters. From the studio that just got hacked by North Korea, lost creative control of Spider-Man, might lose James Bond, and couldn't even keep Adam Sandler happy, comes the surefire hit to put them back on track. Oh no. Experience a film that created a perfect storm of hatred, uniting people who legitimately hated the trailers, people who legitimately hate reboots of classic films, and people who legitimately like to yell hateful nonsense on the internet. And now they're making Ghostbusters with only women. What's going on? Wait, we're making a Ghostbusters video and calling out Trump? I am so getting doxxed. Get ready for the film that everyone in their blog rushed to judge before they'd even seen it, and prove to all the haters that it's bad. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I mean, it's not as bad as they said it was gonna be, but still, it, it's it's pretty bad. I lost my glasses! Oh, wait, wait, I got them! They're in my hand! Look out, boys, there's a brand new cast in town. And it's true, these Ghostbusters have no dick or chemistry. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. did you I'm wanna? Sorry. sorry, I'll let you, I'll let you. Next time. As everyone in the ensemble plays the comic relief at the same time, featuring the awkward comic relief. Yes, Princeton, more like Prince, tons of dummies go there. The random comic relief. I can think of seven good uses of a cadaver today. The down to earth comic relief. I'm sorry, my uncle owns a funeral home, not an enterprise rent a car. And the physical comic relief. Look, you can't all be the Vengman. Someone's gotta be the Egon. Together, they'll unite against a villain so forgettable, they'll ditch him halfway through for Chris Hemsworth and the third act of Pixels. We're trapped! Suit up for a film that's desperate to prove it's not like the original. Ghostbusters, that, that is not our name. But also desperate to remind you of the original at every opportunity, with the exact same plot as the first Ghostbusters. We gotta cross the streams. But the old cast is there too, but they're playing new characters stuck in humiliating cameos. Look, I don't go to Chinatown, I don't drive wackos, and I ain't afraid of no ghosts. But it's still set in the same universe as the original? What's so? Why is it this a sequel, or just a straight reboot, or just don't call it Ghostbusters and make an original movie about shooting ghosts with laser beams? Oh no, I've become one of them. Experience a feature-length reminder that comedy is subjective, your enjoyment of which depends on how much you like Paul Feig's B material. And not one, not two, but three jokes about soup. I got one wonton. That looks like dishwater and one, one shrimp. I'm just looking for a reasonable ratio of wontons to broth. Or spring for the extended cut that adds 15 minutes of new footage, featuring not one, not two, not three, but four different dance numbers. Ghosts, they're, they're real! real! Really? Lord. Extended edition? You really want to push your luck on this? Man, you did not make it easy to like you, Ghostbusters. So catch this fine but forgettable comedy some people treated like the coming of the apocalypse that after a summer full of duds like the Jason Bourne rehash, the Independence Day sequel, and a Tarzan reboot proves once and for all that girls can make middle of the road studio mandated franchise bait just as well as the boys. Yeah! Ray, Starring Kristen's wig, Melissa McBarfy, two-step verification you guys, Kate McCosplay, Chris Hunksworth, and I know a lot of us are divided over this film, but let's take a moment to agree on one thing that actually deserves all that hate, the Fall Out Boy cover song. If there's something weird and it don't look good, who can you call? No! Ghostbusters, now let's never speak of this again. If something's lame and it ain't that good, what you gonna do? Don't watch it! And don't waste your time trolling the cast just because they agreed to be in a bad movie. You hate it? Well, fine then! Go support something original, why don't you? Man, how did a Ghostbusters movie become the most political thing in America during an election year? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! You thought Rick Grimes had been through hell? You ain't seen nothing yet. I don't know what was harder for Rick, watching Lori take her last breath or the fact that it smelled like Shane's d 
Coral, Coral, where's Coral? I'm off, Dad. Cowboy, pirate, cop, choose one. It's like you're trying to be all the village people at once. Screen Junkies presents the roast of Rick Grimes. Watch now exclusively on Screen Junkies Plus. Rick, you failed more black people than FEMA. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, click the box on the left to watch the roast of Rick Grimes. If you register with Facebook, you can enjoy that video and four more for free. Or make a run for the box on the right and enjoy our honest trailer for The Flash. How many yays could a Kanye con if a Kanye could Kanye? Save the rebellion. Save the dream. I love num nums and my tum tums. Welcome to Westworld. Great goggly moogly.